What's up, everybody? First and foremost, it is summertime, so it's getting hot out here in the shop. Let me explain something. So I'm into tools as well as uh, the RCs and everything. So um, I've been seeing this Vivor brand popping up every now and then. And I see it advertised a lot on TikTok. So I decided to check it out. I needed a post hole auger. I ordered the post hole auger. I think it comes with a six and a 10 inch auger. And I was also scrolling through and I needed a pressure washer. So I ordered the pressure washer as well. So let's get this thing unboxed. Uh, I will mention this is not a sponsored video. I am in no way, shape or form uh, associated with Vivor. I'm just a normal guy who plays with RC cars and trucks. And uh, I got this new pressure washer. So let's take a look at this new pressure washer, see what's in the box, and then we'll uh, we'll run this thing and see how it actually works. All right, everybody. So let's open this box and see what's inside. So I will say I was looking at the description on the website before I purchased this, and I was a little weary when I bought it because it did say that this was a four-spoke engine instead of a four-stroke engine. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. But I have high hopes. We have some of these Vivor tools at work. So they seem to be decent. At least what we have. I think we have I think we have an inspection cam and a uh, a duct rod. So let's see what's in here. Alright, so got a little piece of Luan board. Shipping protection all right so it looks like the handle's separate and there's a there's a pressure washer in here guys we'll open this box up later there's your uh your wand doesn't have an end on it yet Here's the rest of your pressure wand. All right, I'm gonna cut this box and uh, get this thing out of here. All right guys, so here it is out of the box. It looks like the cradle comes with the rubber on it. All right. But you will have to install the wheels. Alright. The wheels that came with it, they are a hard a hard foam, rubberish, and they're plastic. So it's not like there's air filled tires that you have to worry about. This looks like some sort of a soap injection, maybe. Looks like you could put it in a bucket, it's got a scream. Make your own soap solution. Here is your instruction manual. Here's the hose it comes with. Um, I will say this hose seems a little chintzy from what I'm used to. And I do not like the fact that it does not have quick uh, release ends on it. That is something that I prefer to have on a pressure washer so it looks like this end goes into the unit um, and this end goes onto the wand so we'll take a look at this here is your uh, your front handle your shroud it has your 0 degree your 15 degree 25 and 40 degree nozzles so it comes with nozzles that's good here's that smaller box that was inside. It looks like it comes with a tool kit. You have a Phillips head screwdriver with a flat blade on the other end. Ah, uh, this is looking like an axle. Ah, uh, here's a spark plug wrench. This must be your other axle. This is your parts list to show you what you got. So it says there's an 8 to 10 wrench, 14 to 17 wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, a spark plug sleeve and rod, self-tapping screws. So this is all the parts to put this thing together. 
Um, here is, I don't know what this is. We'll find out what this is. Here, this must be a uh, soaking nozzle or something. It's got a real large orifice on it. I'm not too sure on all these technical terms, but we'll figure them out. So let's get these wheels on to make this more mobile. And it looks like these have a push pin. You just line the axle up. Get your wheel on the axle. And then you can thread that home. I'm going to put Loctite on these guys. Just for the sake of the video though, I am going to get them on. Alright guys, for the magic of editing, the wheels are on, and I do say I am going to like that push pin design with the axles because it'll be real easy to get these wheels off if I have to take it anywhere. That I, uh, if I have to put it in the back of a, a vehicle or something where the wheels just won't fit. Also this handle seems to be a quick release handle to where it just pops on with the use of push pins. We're going to put this front guard on. So it's very simple to get this piece on, guys. And uh, I'm even using all the tools in the toolkit just because uh, because they're here. And I wanted to prove that the tools do work that it comes with. All right, guys, so you have your wand here. And this very simply goes and screws into this. There is an O-ring in there and you just thread these together and I'm guessing you just do them snug because it is a gasket and you slide your little dust cap over. Alright guys so this does come with instructions on how to assemble. Um, I just kind of went and did it my own way. Step one is to install this panel onto the handle Using, there's four machine screws with nylock nuts and you can go ahead and use all the tools that come in the in the kit they work fine um, then you got to put this hose reel on um, it's this piece here I put it on mine after the fact the problem is is I only had two screws that came with it for that so I had to source my own screws not a big deal uh, step three is to put the wheels on um, I mean, you already saw me do that. Step four is to attach the wand together and uh, step, sorry, step four is also to connect the hose. I am gonna source my own ends. Uh, I like the quick connect style and I have my own hoses that I like to use. So we'll use it in its uh, stock form to do the initial test. But after that, I will be changing all that stuff out. All right, guys, so I'm going to look inside here. It does smell like there has been gas in here before, so I'm guessing they test these at the factory before they leave, but there has been gas in that already. I'm going to pull a dipstick here. There's very little oil in there, so we will add more oil. There's probably just some shipping oil in there. I might even just change the oil myself before I run it for the first time, because I'm not sure what's in there. But, all right guys, I'll get this outside and we'll take a look at its first, uh, first wash. All right, guys, I got oil in it. It ended up taking about 18 ounces of oil. I did drain out what was in the engine. It was maybe two or three ounces. They must put oil in them at the factory, fire them up to test them out, and then they drain them out and ship them. And whatever is left is in there just to keep the internals from rusting. So, like I said, I emptied it out, and then I added fresh engine oil. It recommends 1530. I was unable to source 1530, so I went with 1030. And uh, the Q&A on the website 
it looks like that's okay. So 18 ounces, filled up that crankcase. Let's get her fired up and test her out. So after having an opportunity to run this pressure washer, um, I'm quite impressed with it for the price. So um, I did the side of my garage and I pressure washed my van and I went to go move the camera again and unfortunately my GoPro overheated so I lost, I wasn't recording any of the footage of me pressure washing the house and the van but I did get a little bit of it, a uh, little bit of myself doing my truck bed and it it did well it did well i was impressed i think it was putting out good pressure i don't have any way to test the water pressure that's actually coming out of the unit but it did well it did well and the only thing that i'm a tad bit concerned with is in the instructions it says that the pump comes without oil in it so and and nowhere in the instructions it says how much oil to put in this pump so I went on the Q&A and there's a bunch of questions and people are asking about how much oil goes in this pump and Vivor keeps responding with, this is a maintenance free pump, oil is not required. So I I don't know, it's, it's a pump with a lot of moving parts in it, so that, that concerns me a little bit. So uh, we'll see how this goes in the future, see what the longevity of the product is, and I guess I'll let you guys know. Thanks for watching. I know it's not normal for me to do a tool review, but hey, it's something different, and I'm going to give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one, guys.